Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about vampy dark lips that are perfect for the fall and winter time. I personally don't wear them enough. I think whenever I see people wear it, I'm just like, wow, this looks so good, but I don't really wear it that much myself. So that's gonna change today. So I'm just gonna be doing a little look around this MAC Media lipstick, which is super dark. So without further ado, let's start the process. And I'm gonna be starting with some concealer first. For the concealer, I'm gonna be using this Patrice True Skin High Cover Concealer in the color Warm Macadamia. Pop this on. Also here, and just dab it with this beauty blender. Definitely guys, let me know if you prefer applying concealer first or foundation. People I think say that you should apply foundation first and then concealer, but for some reason I always do it the other way. So next we go on to foundation. I really like this one, it's pretty new. It's a really liquidy um, foundation that is very light and not too heavy. Of course you can build it up always, but this is supposed to kind of match your skin tone and just like, you know, match with your kind of warmth of the face and then blend in and I feel like it really does. It's a beautiful fall day today. It's very sunny, which I love because it gets so depressing, you know, when it's like pitch black at four and you're like, are you serious? I feel like it's 10 o'clock. Okay, I think the foundation is all done. Let's move on to bronzer. That's pretty much usually what I always do, just like warm up the face. And I just got this one. This is the Dream Sun Powder Bronzer by Maybelline. So I'm just gonna be dipping into this big fluffy brush and just kind of roughly bronze my face in this kind of E motion on both sides. Ooh, it looks super orange on camera. I promise it's not that bad in real life, but I'm definitely gonna blend it some more to make it super soft and just natural looking. Just gonna go over it with the beauty blender a little bit just to make it even more airbrushed looking. Next off, I'm gonna be using this eye primer and I'm just gonna prime my lids with this to have it stay a little bit longer and just let it sit for a bit, just pat it in a little bit. Okay, so next up I'm gonna be using this Morphe palette and use this very light natural color which is almost gone. This is called Lynn. And then in the crease I'll be using Mr. Diva. So I'll go into it with this brush, tap off the excess, and then just apply it all over the lid. And now let's go into the crease with this pencil brush and just dip into this shade right here and just put it all over the crease. And for this kind of dark lip that's gonna follow it, I like to wear eyeshadow that's not too extreme, you know, just because the lips are gonna be the wow effect and the big, you know, focus of the look. So I think it's better to keep the eyes as neutral as possible. And of course, I'm gonna blend this out some more. Okie dokie, and next up, I'm gonna be using this eyebrow gel. I just wanna give them some dimension, just some definition and not too much power to the brows, <laughs> just because the lips are gonna talk for themselves and the other parts of the look are gonna be somewhat more quiet. And then now let's start with the lips. This is gonna be the most exciting part. I just bought this really dark liner by Trend It Up, which is gonna be lining my lips just roughly so that later on I don't go you know, above the edges and this kind of helps me guide along the lips. This is gonna be a concentration act, guys. like that and now I'm just gonna go over it with the ever iconic MAC lipstick in the shade media this is a super dark one let me show you guys this is it let's put this bad boy on and see how it looks okay so now I kind of applied it roughly now I'm just gonna take this little precise brush right here and make this a bit more precise okay so now we got the lips going i'm gonna be using a bit of concealer to go along the edges of this look and to make it even more you know precise around the edges so let's take this one again use my finger and just blend this into the skin just around the edges 
now that we have the lips all done with this beautiful MAC Media lipstick, I'm just gonna go and pop some nice little rouge or blush, as we say in English, onto the lips. This is the Miracle Creamy Blush by Max Factor, and I think this color is super nice and very just like fresh and rosy, and I haven't tried this, so I'm just gonna pop this onto my cheeks. So I'm just gonna blend this very well so you just see a um, wash of color that is slight and doesn't take away from the lips. You know, you don't wanna overpower it with a lot of blush. So now that you got the freshness going on on the cheeks with this beautiful Max Factor blush, I'm gonna be using this Haloscope Highlighter by Glossier, there you go, in the color Moonstone. I love this one, it's just a very healthy looking glow that you get going on when you put this here and just blend this into the skin as well to just give it a nice natural looking sheen. And now, we are almost done. I'm just gonna be applying this mascara. This is the Rituals 3-in-1 mascara. And just pop this onto the lashes. And you guys, that is pretty much the look. I'm gonna show you a little bit closer now. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Just one thing that is kind of annoying though when you wear a bit darker lips is that sometimes they make your teeth look a bit green or even yellowish. I don't know if you can see it with this one, but it's definitely worth it. I think it's a very extravagant kind of out there look and I think you can rock it too. Definitely recommend this lipstick. It's a very dark one as you can tell. So without further ado, I'll let you go. I'll see you in my next one. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you're new here. This is a very new channel, so I'd very much appreciate it. And without further ado, I'll let you go. Bye guys. I definitely need a new 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 beauty blender before you watch sorry